What is up guys, Ram Panawan here and welcome to another revolution map guide for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. In this mini series I will be giving you guys a breakdown on the 4 new multiplayer maps that came with the new DLC. In this episode we will be covering Mirage. Mirage, like most of the maps in this DLC, is a medium sized map and also has a symmetrical feeling to it. Each side of the map looks like it was originally the same, giving it that symmetrical feeling. But because of the sand that's on this map, one side of the map has been completely covered and ruined. On the ruined side of this map, we have two buildings. These buildings are rarely used in game modes such as Team Deathmatch, as they are more out of the way. But in objective based game modes like Domination, Demolition, etc, these rooms come into full play. And then on the opposite side of the map, it is very open. A few obstacles here and there of course, but mostly open like I said. Then in the middle of the map you will find the main lobby of the resort. In here you will find a large statue I think representing an emperor and this statue is often used for cover. There is also a long walkway around the outside of this resort and again this is commonly used for getting across the map and can also be used for cover. This room also has four entrances to it, one coming from the north side of the map, one coming from the ruined side of the map and two coming from the not so ruined side of the map. Again, like the other rooms, this room takes full swing in objective based game modes. Then towards the south side of the map, there is what I'll call a corridor of sorts. This is mainly used from getting from one side of the map to the other and is also used as a flanking route. And the most important part of this map is the north side. This is where the majority of the action will be taking place when you play this map. First off, on each side there are two rooms. These two rooms are great for sniping across from one side of the map to the other. In between all of this is an old swimming pool. Not commonly used in Team Deathmatch, but again, great in objective based game modes. Grenades easily roll down into this pool where the B flag and I think maybe a bomb site is located, so definitely be careful about that. And then next to it we have an old diving board. This is great for cover and really brings the whole area together. I think the, the area would be a lot less without this diving board. And that is the layout of Mirage in a nutshell. I personally have never really liked the sand maps in Call of Duty such as Gulch, such as Afghan, things along those lines. But this one is, this one is definitely my favourite out of all of the Call of Duty games. It's such a good and well designed map. And that is my map guide for Mirage. If you could be sure to leave a comment with your thoughts on Mirage, whether you have the map or not, and also don't forget to leave a like ring and subscribe. Again guys this is Rampana1 and I'll see you all next time. Peace.